Greetings and welcome back to the latest and greatest of the Black Man Can Men's Channel. The place where masculinity is affirmed and supported, where we as men come to deal with the challenges of modern day society and with women, and most of all, a place where we strive to become the best version of ourselves. For those that are new here, please watch the video until the end. Also like, share, comment, and give me any ideas you feel you wanna hear about. We are all about bringing up the messages and content people care about. That being said, we're gonna hop right on to it. Last thing, this is a men's channel. Ladies, you are welcome here, but my content will be focused on men. That being said, we're gonna hop right into today's uh, message. Today's episode is gonna be focused on something that I think is near and dear to all of us. If you haven't gone through it, you haven't gone through heartache, you haven't gone through betrayal, you haven't gone through being disappointed, you won't understand it. But the other 99.9% .9 of us out here will understand it. And today's topic is gonna be focused on forgiveness. So I'm gonna give y'all a couple of ideas to help you get past or go through or manage through whatever it is you may be going through in relationships, in job, and in life. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, when you're dealing with forgiveness, it's not for them, it's for you. You see, a lot of times we go through life thinking that our anger, our frustration is somehow uh, felt by the person that may have hurt us. They may not care at all. I'll give you a good example. I was in fourth grade, uh, decided to join some chess club for the school. It was late in the year. And my father taught me chess and they were gonna go to a tournament in Arizona, a place I'd never been, still to this day haven't gone, but they were going to Arizona and I was psyched because I knew I was one of the best students in the class. When it came down to it, the teacher said, you can't go because you haven't been here long enough there's other kids that aren't as good as you, but they've been dedicated since the beginning of the school year. And I was crushed, I was angry, I felt led astray, I felt like I wasn't getting the fair share, and I bumped into that man 20 years later, and you know what, he didn't even recognize who I was. So my point to you is, a lot of times in your life, you get yourself all worked up and angry with somebody that don't care whether you living or breathing, okay? It's not your job to get all caught up with that. You have to forgive for yourself so you can move forward in life, all right? So remember, forgiving is not for them, it's for you. Number two, forgiveness gives your spirit peace. Whenever you are going through the emotions of anger, betrayal, deceit, feeling like somebody's done you wrong, if you sit in that for too long, it can become part of you which will limit your opportunities in life. It will limit the kind of people that want to be around you because you're a buzzkill. You got so much dark energy in you and you're holding on to stuff you need to let go. So remember that when it comes to uh, dealing with stuff that is uh, forgiveness is necessary. When you learn to forgive, you give yourself a peace that people can see and it brings out your light rather than your darkness. Thirdly, karma is God's job, not yours. You know, a lot of times I've seen brothers in the heat of anger, you know, that woman done left them or they found out they was cheating or some job they didn't get because they felt they were in line to get a uh, promotion and things didn't happen. Whatever the cause was that brought you to a boil, brother doing anything to be vigilante like with the uh, handing out of uh, punishment is not your job. A lot of men done lost their lives trying to be vigilante. You know, your girl did you wrong, so you're going to go show up there and beat the shit out of the guy. Your girl did you wrong, so you're going to go up there and, and beat her up. Dude, no woman, no man for that matter, is worth spending the rest of your life in a box for. And if she left you, brother, she was never yours to begin with. If the opportunity didn't open up for you, brother, that means that door wasn't open. Go to the next door. It is not worth it, okay? So remember, karma is not your job. That belongs to the most high. And people that are usually hurt, Hurt people hurt people. So they'll have to deal with their own stuff down the road. But you need to let it go, okay? Number four, it gives your heart a clean slate. Let me tell you something, man. When you're walking around with a, in a funk, when you're angry, when you have this view of hatred and anger towards the world, people feel that energy. And they don't want to be around that. So if you caught up with a, a ex lover and you in your emotions still, when you try to date somebody else, it's not going to work out right because you haven't mentally and emotionally put yourself in a position to win. OK, because people are going to see, yo, you, you got some issues. All right. So you have to work on giving yourself a clean slate. 
because this allows you to allow new love to come into your life, new opportunities to come into your life, new jobs, whatever it is, business partners. People can see the light in you when you are handling yourself like somebody who's got a clean slate. So forgiveness helps give your heart a clean slate as well as your mind and body. Number five is true revenge is not seeking any revenge at all. Brother, if you have moved to a point in your life where things are better from where you were, you need to take an account of the achievements you've made. You might have been in a relationship that hurt you. You might have had a job you lost and you had to go back to square one and now you don't got back up. These are things you have to constantly remind yourself of is your self-improvement, you getting better, you working on your mind, okay? So true revenge really is not needing any revenge at all against a person, against a job, against a, 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 a girlfriend, a ex-lover. You should be able to get to the point as a man where it's like, look, that was God's will. And when he closed this door, he let me put myself in position to open up a new and better door. So anything that leaves out of your life is usually the most high saying, I got something better for you. And if you keep that mindset, that will help you a lot with forgiving people that may have wronged you. Last but not least, strength is gained when you learn to forgive. You know, forgiving, you get strength in so many ways. You get strength for not wanting to hurt the person who hurt you. You get strength for not getting angry at the person that hurt you and didn't even feel sorry about it. You get strength from getting emotional control over yourself. These are things that build you. You get strength from keeping a smile on your face and staying up being positive when there's a reason to cry. You will get strength from learning to forgive. Because you know what? When that bitterness, that anger, that darkness gets up inside you, brother, it is nothing but bad news. And like I said, no one is worth sitting in a box for, no one is worth losing your life for, and no one is worth jeopardizing the things you care about, the people you care about, and the life you've built for yourself. So anytime you've got a problem, just remember where you've come from and where you are and who you are. All right. So, brothers, thank you as always for participating and checking out the video. If you like the content, you like this video, subscribe to the YouTube right now. All right. Subscribe to this channel. The name is the BMCMC, the Black Man Can Men's Channel. Brothers, have a great week. Continue success. And remember, forgiving others is a way for you to lift yourself, to have emotional control and to move forward with your life so bigger and better things can happen for you. All right? And remember always, if nothing else, that the black man can. And if you ain't know, you better ask somebody. Until then, brothers, be well. Peace.